Hello, welcome back to Keeping It Real. I'm David Grossman, and it's good to be here. Um, I'm pleased to introduce you to Lucas Asu. And uh, after this, this gentleman, he's a picture of health. I mean, and he should be, and he really should be, because he is a coach. And you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna go to a coach, you want to know that uh, the coach takes good care of himself. He's in good shape. And look look at this look at this gentleman over here. You know, anyway, you look Luke. You look very good. You Thank know, you, um, and, I'm, and I'm very pleased that uh, you could join us today. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And coincidentally, after we spoke, I learned that you actually do a lot of coaching for real estate agents. So That's that was true. a bonus because as you know, this is, this is a, sh a real estate show. So um, f in fact, for Keller Williams and Century 21. Yes. So, but, but let's, let's start at even a, a more basic level <laughs> than that. And, and let, let, you know, just tell me, how did you get into coaching? Why? I got into coaching because I was looking for ways to be able to help myself. Mm -hmm. As a young man, when I moved here, I was only about 25 years old. I had no background, I had no support, I had no family around here. So I had to depend upon myself how not to be distracted by the so many opportunities that surrounded me. Mm -hmm. So I was, that's how I got into this. And I got into this by me asking myself one single question. Why am I here? What is it that I wanted to do with my life? Now that I have the opportunity to be in one of the greatest country in the history of mankind, what do I want to do with my life? And so I never wanted to be distracted by what is going on in society. So I wanted to focus my mind to, do, to be somebody and to do something for myself and for my family and for the society. That's how I got into this. So how long have you been a coach? Now? I've been a coach for four years, <laughs> but four my years? trainings have taken me about seven years. Right, <laughs> so you started off coaching yourself. Coaching myself, yeah. When I started coaching myself, I started reading. I started first by reading because I realized that there are a lot of people that have gone before me and they've taken their experiences and put them into books. And if I can take a day or two days or three days and read someone's experiences that they've gone through for 30, 40 years, now I'm having a 40 years experience in just two days right? without me having to go through the 40 years. So that was the leverage that I had. Right. And through the process, I discover things about that I could relate to because it's real. It's someone's life and I could relate as a person. And that got me excited to realize that there are challenges, but there are also solutions. And those solutions are very simple if we only look for them. And right. that's how I got excited. So by me applying what I read in those books, I began to see certain changes in myself. Mm -hmm. And then I got excited. So out of my excitement, I decided to be sharing what I was learning with some of the people around me, some of my friends, and it started making a difference in their lives as well. So I got addicted to f good feelings about learning. <laughs> so, so tell me, like, what, what were some of the key things that you learned that you wanted to go out and, and share with your friends to start with? First is the fact that we create the way we feel. It's something I learned very quickly. Happy people have happy rituals. Depressed people have depressed rituals. People that are successful have successful rituals. People that are not successful have unsuccessful rituals. Mm -hmm. So I, be, I learned very early on that there are specific pathway to happiness or to depression. That what people do day to day, moment to moment, they're doing it, they may not be conscious of it. And so those books began to expose me to specifically what were some of those rituals that happy people do. And I began to do the exact same thing Give, give me an example. All our all human emotions, I learned something very quickly, that the way we feel will determine the way we behave. That's, that's something that no other lecture or training could ever expose me to. Mm -hmm. And so the way, we, if the way we feel determines the way we behave. There are only three things that create human feelings. What you're thinking about at the moment, the way you're using your body, and what you're saying inside mm -hmm. your own head. Right. So it makes it so real for me, and I began to realize that the moments I was, the mo moments that I was very sad, were moments I was having very negative dialogue within myself, mm. and I was focusing on things the way that makes me depressed, right. and I put my body in a certain way. Mm -hmm. So uh, learning those mm. things and changing those things, right. then I began to realize that wow, life and success is figured outable. <laughs> right, and it starts from within. And it starts from within. Mm -hmm. And once I began to make those mental shifts in my emotions, my behavior changed radically. So the way I behave radically changed. And so the actions that I began, I started taking completely changed. 
and that's how my life turned around. Right, it's amazing. So it starts with the dialogue that you have. It starts with the communication you have with yourself. Right. Let's call it communication because that's what we do. Mm -hmm. Moment to moment, we are communicating with ourselves. For someone to be confident, they have to speak in a certain way within themselves. Right. So it's the same thing for someone who's depressed. So people that are happy have happy rituals. They have specific things they do to make themselves happy. Okay, so t tell me what, you, what do you do for real estate agents? How do you help some of these uh, real estate agents at, at Keller Williams and Century yeah, that's right. and people are watching today? <laughs> what how I do, do I'm a peak performance help? coach. What I do, I get people to optimize the processes of how they do things okay. to get better results in a very short period of time. Because now, if we realize that we have unlimited resources within our mental capacity, the only question becomes how do we have access to those resources? This is where coaching comes in. Right. So right. what I do in these companies when they cons hire me to be a consultant, resources to be a trainer, that are within, all is the that what you're talking about, or resources? All the resources that we need are already within us. Okay. All right. For someone to be successful in real estate, they have to be confident. Mm -hmm. They have to know how to communicate. Right. Where does communication come from? <laughs> Where does confident co confidence come Where from? Where does communication come from? We create it. It's the way we use our voice. Right. The words we use. Mm -hmm. The way we use our body. Yes. Like the gestures we use, right. all of those, those are all tools of influence. And so what I do, a professional, is to distill these tools in a way that they can understand it. Right. And then they can now begin to apply it. Yes. And now they can now step up their game. But right. there are other things we do as well. We realize that human beliefs shapes all human actions. So in order for someone to change the level of their performance, they have to change their limiting beliefs. So what I do as a coach is to get people to identify the underlying beliefs that are preventing them from being successful. Right. And then shift those beliefs for them. And when you shift the beliefs, you see the person's actions and their level of confidence and what they are aiming for completely changes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, well, I, I'm sold, Lucas, <laughs> really. I mean, uh, I, just, I just, you know, it's, 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 it's about energy too, right? And you, you, when you're talking to somebody and you feel like, a, you know, a pureness in their energy, um, you, you know when somebody's onto something. That's so right. uh, you know, I'm so glad we connected. You have an, an event coming up soon? Or? We have an event coming up. An event coming up. It's called Get the Ultimate Edge. It's a one day NLP mastery program where I teach the specific things for someone to change their lives. From and what is NLP mastery? NLP stands for Neuro Linguistic Programming. Okay. But NLP is simply a system for producing excellent results in your life. Mm -hmm. It's you shift your thinking. You shift the way you feel, you shift how you speak, you shift the way you communicate with people, you shift how you relate with people. You become someone that people want to be around with. So right. what NLP does, it's a system for producing excellent results. Also, NLP helps us to shift any behavior that we do not like. So if you procrastinate, NLP can help you to wipe that out. If you're going through depression, NLP can help you to wipe that out. So part of all of this, I have used this. I got a young guy. 24 years old, to lose 93 pounds in 90 days wow. without any diet. That's amazing. And a total of 157 pounds in exactly seven months. And we conditioned himself that he becomes someone that never wanted to be like that anymore. And now he works out every single day. He's never gained a pound since then. That's, <laughs> that's incredible. So this, this, uh, this is a seminar? This and is a seminar. When, when is it? It's on uh, the 27th of uh, October. 27th of October. That's right. And where is it? It's in Mississauga. Mississauga. Yeah. So if, if people go to your website? MSRcoaching.com. MSRcoaching.com. That's I right. They look down on the right side It'll there. It'll be right there. The, 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 the program is called Beyond the Edge. It's right on the top bar. It's right, right on the there. top bar. That's right. And they can sign up to spend they can sign a up. full day with you. One full day from 8 in the morning till 5 p.m. in the evening. And the content, it's things I've never shared out with the public before. We'll be teaching things like spiral dynamics, which is the levels of human consciousness. Because at the level of someone's consciousness will determine how they show up in life and what they do. What right. would, would that level of perception would be. So it's quite incredible. Wow, the level of the sounds like pretty deep stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but it's who we are. Yeah. It's, it's who we are as people. Yeah, for it's sure. It's who we are as people. Well, again, thanks so much, uh, Lucas, for, for coming on the show uh, today. David, I really want to thank you for the opportunity to... Uh, be on your show today and to be able to really to communicate with people and tell them what we do and uh, how we can add value to the community. I think the whole purpose of what we do is to serve 
And I think one of those things is that leaders goes first. So I put myself on the line to be able to help other people. And I'm so grateful for the opportunities to do that. Well, I'm grateful for you coming on to the show. Thank, Thank you very much. You, and uh, if you're watching, be sure to check out msrcoaching.com. Sign up for the newsletter and go check out this, uh, this event coming up later in October in Mississauga. And, uh, and talk more with Lucas Asu. So that's all we have for this episode of Keeping It Real today. But there is more if you just hang on. We have a new crew coming in here. We have um, two gentlemen. Uh, Tariq Sultan uh, is going to be from uh, Remax Dynasty Realty, is going to be speaking with Abdul Hamid Khan. He's a real estate lawyer. So lots of information to, to take away today. That's for sure. Um, thanks again for watching. I will see you next week. Bye for now.